free to use by schools and teaching institutions. This video can be freely used by any school or institute for teaching purposes. We only ask that you recommend us to the pupils' parents and other schools. We believe that education should be freely available to all. Thank you. Factor of a number Numbers, like 2, 3, 5, and 10 are all factors of some number. A factor is a number, which divides exactly into another number, without leaving a remainder. Factors are also those numbers, when you multiply together to get another number. Every number has one as a factor, so normally we don't count it as a factor. Let's explore this a bit further. Take the number 6 as an example. To break this into factors, we look at those smaller numbers that when multiplied together will give us the 6. See figure 1. 2 multiply by 3 equals 6 and minus 2 multiply by minus 3 equals 6. These numbers are all factors of 6. Numbers also have negative numbers as factors. Generally, they are same as the positive factors except they have a negative sign. So, factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, minus 2, and minus 3. These numbers divide exactly into 6 without leaving a remainder. Let's have a look at another example. Take the number 40, again, there are a number of ways to get 40, see figure 2. 4 multiply by 5 multiply by 2 equals 40, also 10 multiply by 4 equals 40 also, 5 multiply by 8 equals 40, other factors are 2 multiply by 20, 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 10. 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 10. Then there are the negative factors. So, factors of 40 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. These numbers divide exactly into 40 without leaving a remainder. Check out this out yourself. Find all the positive factors of 60. All the factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. One way of working out these is to half the number, in our case it's 30. All your factors will lie from 1 to 30, exception being the number itself which is a factor of itself. Let us look at how we got these factors, in a bit more details. Working out factors, requires a bit of common sense, and repetitive division, starting from 1 up to and including half of the number. In our case this is 30. This is where it helps to know your times tables. It speeds up the search for the factors. Lay out your work in a table form as shown below. Remember a factor leaves no remainder. Once you have done that, you can check that you haven't missed any out by arranging the factors in ascending order and then multiplying the pairs to gather. Remember factors always occur in pairs once you have found one you have also found the other, figure 3. So you have basically halved your search. Let us check the pairs, to make sure we have found all of them. 1 multiply by 60 equals 60, 2 multiply by 30 equals 60, 3 multiply by 20 equals 60, 4 multiply by 15 equals 60, 
5 multiply by 12 equals 60 and 6 multiply by 10 equals 60. I think we have got all of them. This exercise will test your understanding of what you have learned so far. You will find the answers at the end of this video. In this exercise, there are 20 questions. You will have 25 seconds to do each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. You can ask your parent or teacher to help you. Answer for this exercise can be found either at end of this lesson or on our website. Exercise 1 Find all the positive factors of this number. 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 Find all the positive factors of this number.
find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number.
Find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number. Find all the positive factors of this number. We hope you have learned something from this video. Please tell at least 5 people about our work, so they can also benefit. Do visit our website, to see hundreds of free educational videos. Answers for the previous exercise are coming next. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. We regularly bring out new videos, so don't miss out. Please subscribe to get these educational videos.